Local hip hop legends, Winnipeg's most, are gearing up for a reunion show in their hometown. MCs Tyler Rogers and Billy Pearson, better known as Charlie Feta and John C., are dedicating the concert to their late band member, Jamie Prefontaine, also known as Brooklyn. Prefontaine died in 2015. His family never publicly released the cause of his death. It'll be the first time the band has performed together since 2012. Having that time um, since the since we broke up and whatever to you know kind of heal and grow and just kind of really look back on the legacy and see what we did and it just felt like the right time in my opinion. The group took off in 2010 after releasing their debut self-titled album mixed by Juno-nominated producer Stomp. Soon they began topping local hip hop charts. In just two years, they scored nine Aboriginal People's Choice Music Awards. Uh, recorded the first album in my dining room. Uh, <laughs> yeah, didn't didn't hear it for like you know we recorded it in about two weeks. Uh, Stomp left with it everything. We didn't have any demos. We had nothing. And we definitely, definitely never thought that uh, it was going to be taken the way it was. Or or we like we certainly never planned that. But I mean like we planned to make music. We planned to put our music out. And we planned to have our voices heard. And. To have, him, ha, to have it heard on those scales was just uh, overwhelming. The group disbanded in 2013 after Pearson faced drug possession charges. Since then, Pearson and Rogers say they've grown a lot. When asked what advice they'd give young Indigenous musicians, their message was clear, just put yourself out there. If they're creating it in their house, they're creating it in studios, they're creating it at their buddy's house, is to always just put it out, just put it out there. Reflecting on Winnipeg's most early days, Rogers says despite the controversies and violence that seemed to follow them around, they always stayed true to their word. It was unapologetic. We we didn't hide. We didn't sugarcoat. No, you know, not every song was super political or anything. But we, on the songs that we did explore those darker sides of our lives, we were openly honest, brutally honest. Winnipeg's most takes the Burton Cumming Theater stage on Thursday at 7 p.m. Central. Sierra Bettens, APTN National News, Winnipeg.